We are the Crawfords. We have six kids and are hiking the Appalachian Trail, a 2,200 mile hike from Georgia to Maine. We don't know if we can finish it, but we are doing it together. Good morning. We slept 10 hours last night. And I'm still tired. Breakfast is being One. delivered. This is my second bag of oatmeal. It's really hard to get down. The first one was okay. But I feel like I'm like force feeding myself. But I like need to because this is like my fuel to get 14 miles in today. Good morning! Hi. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Hi. 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 Um, this, um, we just got to a road and we camped here. There's a trash can and two tables. It says over here, no camping, right here. It says no camping. So we camped over here. We're getting ready to go. We are hitting the trail at 8.40. We were shooting for eight o'clock, so we're still working on those details. And actually, it, I wish I could say those lazy teenagers are why we're going light. It was, Cam, it was Cammie and I. The lazy parents. The lazy parents who didn't want to get out of bed. <laughs> and in fact, you'll notice I'm missing something again. That's because Dove went ahead with Rainier. Yesterday, we took a little bit of a rest day and didn't film so if you're noticing a gap in the filming sequence we're gonna do that probably on most saturdays we still got 12 miles in we're heading to fontana dam which i've only seen in pictures and stuff here's a sign does it say anything no that's the shelter we were trying to make it to yesterday it's 2.4 miles away but we didn't get there. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hi. Hi. Have you been walking? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you run? Yeah. You're doing a good job. Papa, <laughs> Yesterday was the first day that Ben and I, and I think most of the kids started wearing shorts, which is pretty special. You can see my nice white legs here. And I don't know if you're hearing them, but we heard birds for the first time like yesterday, I think. Just chirping away. I woke up to them this morning. And up until this point, we hadn't heard any birds. They were like, it's still winter, but apparently spring is coming. Do you remember where we're walking to? Yeah. Who are we going to go see? Um, Mommy and Papa. Hominy and Papa. For those of you that don't know, Hominy is grandma in Korean, so that's my mom and my dad. And where are we going to see them at? Um, two days. No, not two days. We, keep, we went over this a few times. But where are we going to go? Are we going to a town? Yeah. With a pool? Yeah. Yeah? But how many days is it? Two days. No. It's, well, it was five days yesterday. But now it's four days. One, two, three, four days. So one of the reasons why we're like really booking it right now is it's Sunday. We booked a hotel in uh, 
Nahaya. No, not Tahala was the last town. Gatlinburg, that's where we're going. Uh, and it's Wednesday night, so we had five days to do 70 miles. But we showed this to the kids. Normally, I like surprising them with stuff, but out here, the motivation is so important and the morale, keeping morale up even now. But there's this killer hotel with, uh, which is uh, kind of our, our jam. It's the Holiday Inn Express, our home away from home. They have like this water slide and everything. So everyone's like on fire to get 70 miles in in five days. So my parents are supposed to meet us at a parking lot at 4 p.m. on Wednesday. So we're in like go mode, but it's gonna be a rough four days. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. The kids have been ahead of us like almost the entire time for the last two days. Right now we're climbing Jacob's ladder. Look at this. So I'm gonna like crouch down so you can maybe get a more of a picture of how steep this is. There's Ben up there. This thing is no joke. Ugh. I hope heaven's up at the top somewhere for our reward here or some kind of form of it. It just goes straight up. We have gone 2.4 miles. S, yes. P. P, yeah. A. Uh huh. G. G, good job. Hey, you, we, next. W, I, Y, N, G, now, yay. This morning was a little rough for one of our kids. We had to just stop and talk to them and uh, wait for them to catch up and then uh, had them go ahead and I tried to just encourage them as they were going and we tried to just talk to them about what was really going on with them um, and I think they were just discouraged mostly uh, which I can totally relate to and I think being out here Honestly, I don't know how people do it alone because you need people to talk to you to get out of your head and when you get discouraged and so that's what we tried to do with with our kid and I think it helped. Okay, we just reloaded on fruit snacks for Rainier. What color is this one? This one's red. There you go. Ugh. We're on our way to Fontana Dam. We got like 12 and a half miles to go. And it's pushing 11 o'clock. There's a restaurant two miles from the shelter we're planning on staying at. We'd have to get a ride. So we don't really know if we're gonna be able to do that. We're gonna, we don't know if, uh, we'll be able to get in in time. It would be really nice to be able to go to a restaurant tonight for dinner. That's what we're shooting for, but kind of a lot of things have to align in order for that to happen. Acting like a bozo. I've never seen the Eating some tortillas with peanut butter in it for lunch. And these things. Oh, these ever looked so delicious. Look at those cream in there. Mmm. This morning was really hard for me. 
um, just like hiking. But my dad said that tonight we might be able to go to a restaurant for dinner, which will be really nice. And it um, motivates me a little bit more to go a little bit faster. So, in a little bit, we're going to start hiking. Put the diaper in the peanut butter can, and I'm putting the I'm the trash person, so I'm putting the trash in the garbage. Look at this guy. That looks. Oh, other than the string, that looks pretty comfortable. He's like, you see his face? <laughs> He's like under the hat. <laughs> pretty funny, huh? Love me when It's four o'clock and we're having a break and we can see the Fontana Lake down there and the Fontana Dam right there and right there and we're trying to like have just figure out like what we're where we're gonna go for dinner but like it's Sunday so like a lot of places that we want to go are closed I'm really excited for dinner. It is 5.15 and the dam is getting a little bit closer. Still feels like a really long ways away. Rainier keeps on pointing to the dam and says that way. And I'm saying, well, we're going that way, but the trail's not direct. So he gets confused because I told him that's where we're going tonight. So he's convinced I'm going the wrong direction. But we have to walk this way to get over there. But you want to have dinner? <laughs> yeah. Last night we had like ramen and all the kids are convinced that he ate more than anyone else out of the pot. Probably about once a day during this time, Rainier likes to tell the story from the first part of our hike about the snow. What happened with the snow? It gave you owies. Yeah, the snow gave you owies? How did it give you owies? I did. Yeah, it was hitting you on the face? Yeah. He's talking about the hail that was like going horizontal, these like ice balls that were hitting us on the face from like a week or two ago. He talks about it almost every day, how the snow gave him owies. But there's no snow now. Okay, we're sitting here at the Fontana Dam Center place waiting for a shuttle, but they can't find the shuttle person. And we're contemplating uh, staying in some rooms. We're at uh, some in Fontana and having dinner. I would really like to do that. I would really like to do that. I would I'd really, really like, like to, to do, do that. that. This is the nicest shelter on the entire trail. Mm. Yeah. Not nicer than a room. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Oh, the phone. The phone is ringing. Wait. Oh. All right, we got one more mile to, to hike. Oh, and then we get picked up. And then we're, we are we got a couple rooms for us. Whoa, yeah. And we're eating Come on, right here. We gotta go. we gotta at a walk. restaurant, too. Yeah, yeah. buddy. Yeah. yeah. Like Rainier, Rainier saw us leaving the parking lot and he got really disappointed. He said, no, I want to go that way. But we have to go through the woods a little bit more. Then we have dinner and a house tonight, like a bed. You want to sleep in a bed? And have dinner? Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know if he believes me. Don't worry, it really is only a little bit longer this time, Rainer. We got some motivated hikers here. Eden, who's getting the hookup tonight? Huh? Oh, come on. We are walking along this really beautiful lake right now. Just right along alongside it. You wanna go that way? Yeah. Well, we don't wanna go that way, that's to the water. We want to go to the car where we can get food and have a bed. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually kind of weird. We could have gotten picked up right there in that parking lot. But if we do this mile today, it's one less mile we have to do in the future. So we're hiking from one road or one parking lot to another. And like part of me is like, it's kind of weird because you could just like skip it, you know? But we're committed to walking every full mile of the trail and not cheating. Just because I feel like if you're like, oh, we skipped that mile, why not skip another mile? First look at the shelter that we could have stayed at, that we were planning on staying at. The Fontana Shelter, it's affectionately nicknamed the Fontana Hilton because it's so nice. They have like electrical outlet and showers you pay for and even a bathroom, I heard. I feel a little bit bad not staying in the shelter because it's the nicest shelter on the whole AT. Look at that thing. That's a nice shelter. Look at these little blue flowers. Those are pretty. I think that's where the showers are. Dreams do come true. Here's our shuttle. Oh, look at this place. It's a little cramped in here. Cammie is still in the shower. She's been there for like 30 minutes. I don't think she can move. My feet hurt so bad right now, but they feel so good. I'm just trying to like elevate them because these like downhill sections, oh, I can't explain how it feels. It's like so painful. All right, We're in our first. hotel. This is mom and dad's beds. One, two, they have four pillows. This is the bathroom, the sink, doorway, and this is the kids' room. Has two beds also, and a chair. Eden is washing clothes over here. Whoa, how dirty that water is. Oh, also this is the TV, this is mom and dad's. This is ours. Bye. I feel really great right now. We are eating in the restaurant and we all took showers and are in clean clothes. Um, <clears throat> lately we've been talking about um, the way we feel when we get into a hotel and like if that will ever wear out because we feel so excited when we get like a warm bed and food that's fresher than freeze dried and a shower and it's really fun being here right now. I'm done. I'm done. What is it? What is it playing oh. again? Can we get a couple it like uh, a sides of ranch too, please? A sides of ranch. Yeah. Refill mm -hmm. Coke. 
This is absolutely ridiculous. Cammy and I are splitting three entrees, and I've had two beers, and we ordered four appetizers for the table, and there's like no food left. It's just like bones and like <laughs> sauces. So, kids are doing laundry. Seven is editing vlog episodes. Memory is helping Rainier with taking a bath. I am giving Cammy a foot rub. She's actually giving me probably a much better foot rub. You know, there's a part of me that feels guilty for getting a hotel tonight. Like, I'm spoiling my kids, or like, we're not doing the AT like the way it was designed to be done. But, there's a number of things that are like, just like, you know, make me feel completely okay with it. One is, my number one responsibility is to my kids, and I feel like, I am so proud of them. They have been doing so much. And like when I think of what's best for them and my wife and motivation, I like know it was the right move to pull out 140 bucks and spend it on a hotel and just like pour on them a lavish dinner. And I have no regrets about that. Um, tomorrow, we go into what could be the toughest part of the entire trail, at least mentally. It is uh, the Smoky Mountain National Park, which is the highest elevation of at least the southern part, possibly the entire trail. And I wanna show you guys what we're expecting right now. Like Monday, it's rain. Tuesday, it's rain. Wednesday, it's snow. I wouldn't say I'm like nervous, but I'm a little bit apprehensive. Like this is the calm before the storm. And I think we're gonna be okay. I also think it's gonna be very difficult. We did 15.2 miles today. So these kids, all of us, I think we earned it. I'm not gonna feel guilty about staying in a hotel tonight or ordering an extra ranch or an extra beer. And I'm super proud of my kids for just even what's going on in this hotel room. Like, we had a little talk. It's not about movies. It's not about internet. We have a lot of stuff we need to get done and people are just cranking it out. And you can just see the teamwork. Uh, it's just, I don't know, it's just operating well. We're gonna go to bed soon. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are learning something or at least enjoying watching our experience of doing the Appalachian Trail, whether or not we're doing it the right way or not. Tomorrow though, we start the Smokies and it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be real. I don't know what to expect. We'll see you tomorrow. What? The what? No. No, it's going to be